Richter is a painter not of ideas. He famously said, my paintings are more intelligent than I am. And I think there's some truth to that, not because he's not intelligent, he's supremely intelligent, but because what he has been able to do is to take very simple visual propositions and then complicate them. We're sitting in front of a very early Gerhard Richter color chart painting, which is a body of work that he started in 1966 and continued on through the mid-70s. And they are very important, and they're kind of a spine of his work overall in that period. Richter lived in a world as complicated and as full of things to see as ours. He would go to a paint store. He would go to an exhibition. He would go to a museum. He would look in a shop window. He would think about what was being done by designers and architects and so on. He was full of visual information and he paid attention to it. And so what you see in these paintings is the sum of all of that visual experience being brought to bear on a set of conventions that were on the one hand, high art, according to German modernism, and on the other hand, commercial art, according to German commerce. All of these things come together in this and Richter gives them his best. He's not mocking them, he's not uh, sneering at them. He is actually interested in them, but he also knows they have limits. And he's interested in testing those limits and using those limits. These are all mixed colors. These are all gradations of the dominant hues. Richter worked out a, a system of mixing the colors and storing them in little canisters in the studio. And he would then lay them into his composition according to where their number came up randomly in the arrangements. And so this is an early painting. It's one of the ones with more color rather than less. These color charts eventually involved as many as 1,024 colors, unique colors. The white grid, so to speak, separates the colors, is hand-painted and there is weight to the paint and there are edges that fluctuate. This is anything but mechanical. Within each square, you can see that he pulls the brush across like this. In fact, it's important that it's always horizontal. The color is more chromatically vibrant because the light trips down the surface. It's like a Venetian blind that catches every gradation of what you're doing. Richter has over and over and over devoted his life to making things that people thought impossible possible and making them vivid and making them desirable. So much of what's going on is on the surface. It's an incredibly rich painting.